Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. You know, tablets and smartphones, they're pretty much everywhere. And we don't even think about it, but we use our finger to interact with the screen. But if we actually do take some time and think about it, scientists and engineers spend a lot of time and a lot of thinking and a lot of thought to make this work. It's really a neat technology. I can draw with my finger or I can pick up something called the stylus and I can draw with that. Well, we thought it would be a neat engineering challenge to see if I could actually design and make something that could work just like my finger works or something that could work just like this stylus works. Now with this challenge, we want to be careful. We want to make sure that we don't use things that can scratch our tablet. So we're only going to use things that are smooth and flat. The first thing you need to do is gather up a bunch of things, a bunch of stuff that we could test to see if it actually works. Here we have some examples. We have pens and a toothbrush and a pencil and a, a, a clip and safety pins and paper clips and brad fasteners and thumbtacks and nails and light bulbs and straws and batteries and even a wrench. We're going to try these out to see if they actually do allow us to draw on our screen. Here we go. So let's start with our pen. I'm picking the pen because it looks an awful lot like our store-bought our store -bought stylus. Now I'm going to make sure I don't put the end of the pen out because I don't want to mess up the surface of my tablet. So let's try the pen. Take the tip. Hmm. Nothing's happening. So I wonder if the back end of the pen will work. Flip it over. Again, the pen doesn't seem to be working. So let's try something else. Let's try a thumbtack. I want to make sure I'm not going to use the pointed end of the thumbtack. I'm going to hold the pointed end, use the flat end. Here we go. Wow. The, th the thumbtack works beautifully. I wonder if a pencil will work. Let's try the eraser end of a pencil. Nothing. Well, how about, uh, let's try a battery. Let's see if the battery works. The back end of the battery. Take a look at that. Let's flip it over. That end works as well. Let's keep trying things. I wonder if the binder clip works. Hold that up. Wow, the binder clip seems to work very nicely. What about a paper clip? Paper clip. Nothing. The paper clip doesn't seem to work. Now let's try some aluminum foil. Here's a piece of aluminum foil. Fold it up a little bit, get a good handle or grip on it. What do you know? The aluminum foil works pretty well. So now that we have a better idea of what kind of things actually work with our tablet, let's take a closer look at our stylus. Because remember, our engineering challenge to, is to see if we can make our own stylus. So we're going to pull this stylus apart to see really how it works or how it's made, I should say. So I'm going to unscrew the tip of this stylus and I'm gonna, we're going to zoom in so you can take a closer look. So here's the end of my stylus and I can unscrew the very top part. And it looks like I have a little ball of rubber and then a metal tip to the stylus. And this is actually special rubber that conducts electricity. That's conductive rubber. And it's attached to the tip of my stylus. So it seems like a pretty simple design. I need something I can hold and then I need something at the tip that can conduct electricity, but it can't scratch or mess up the surface of my tablet. Now we're going to show you some of our designs that we engineered and tested and then, then it's your turn. So I think I'm going to start with a thumbtack. It seems to work really well, but it's hard to hold. There's just a little end nib that I can grab, barely grab with my fingers. So I think a pencil Pencil's pretty easy to hold. Now let's try the pencil. Remember, the pencil's not working, but what if, what if I take the thumbtack and stick it on the end of my pencil? Now I have something that's easy to hold, but will it work? Well, it's time to test our very simple design. Here we go. Doesn't seem to be working at all. Huh. So let's think about this. I took a thumbtack and stuck it into the eraser at the end of the pencil and it seemed like our first design seems like it doesn't work at all. But remember, this is engineering. I have to go back and change something. So what I'm going to do is change something very small and it, you think about it and it doesn't seem like it would make a difference. I'm going to cut that eraser off 
and try sticking the thumbtack back in. So here I have a pencil, the eraser's cut off. There's still a little bit of the eraser at the end so it can hold the thumbtack. I'm gonna take another thumbtack, push it all the way in, and now I'm going to retest my design. Unbelievable. It seems like that very small, simple change made a big difference in my results. Now I have a stylus that seems to work really well. So now let's try to design another stylus. Now remember, the aluminum foil seemed to work really well, but it seems flimsy. I wonder if I wrap this aluminum foil around something more sturdy, something like a toothbrush. That's easy to hold. So let's unwrap the, the aluminum foil and all the way. And now I'm just going to wrap my toothbrush. I could take my time and make it look pretty, but now I just want to see and test this to see if it works. And what do you know, the toothbrush with the, the aluminum foil worked beautifully. I have a stylus that I can stand up. Those two designs worked really, really well, but let's see if we can make something a little more complicated. To do that, I think I'm going to use a pen cap, but the tip of this pen cap seems to be a little pointed and it doesn't work. But I wonder if I could attach something to the tip of this pen cap. You'll notice I could even pull the inside of this pen out and I could use the inside of this pen. Uh, what about a cotton swab? Well, I'll cut this cotton swab in half. Let's see if the cotton swab works. Hmm, it doesn't work. All right, let's see if I can attach this cotton swab to this pen cap, see if I can do something to make it work. Now, I'm thinking I need a wire. Instead of going out and buying a wire, a lot of people, a lot of classrooms have pipe cleaners laying around, and pipe cleaners are actually really interesting. All they are are two wires that are twisted together. And what I started to do with this pipe cleaner is I started to untwist them. And we're gonna zoom in so you can see what happens when I untwist the pipe cleaners. As I unwind the pipe cleaners, all the fuzz falls away and I'm left with a really nice wire that I can use. Now I'm gonna use the wire to attach the cotton swab. Hold the cotton swab up to the pen cap. It's hard to do this with one hand, but where a partner would be useful and all I'm going to do is wind this around the cotton swab. So now I have a nice smooth tip to my pen cap. Let's test it out. It doesn't work. Now remember in engineering we can make one small change that could really affect the final product. So I'm going to change one thing about this q-tip. I'm going to dip the tip of it in some water. So I have a little cup of water. I'm going to dip the cotton swab into the water, squeeze out the excess water. Now I have a damp cotton swab. I'm going to hold the tip of the pen cap. And that one simple change made it work. It's engineering at work. Well, if a wet Q-tip works, I wonder if something else soft and wet would actually work as well. So here I have a sponge. What if I tore off a little part of the sponge and wrapped it in that pipe cleaning wire? like this. I'll dip a little bit of sponge into the water, squeeze out the extra water, and all I have is the pipe cleaner wire and the sponge. Let's see if it works. Unbelievable. It's almost like a sponged paintbrush. That works beautifully. We had fun engineering our simple styluses, and the cool thing is that you can be an engineer too. If you want to learn more about engineering and even how interactive screens like this work, check out our link in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Fun Science Demos. Science is so cool, especially when you get to engineer and build things. Thanks for watching.